insulin resistance could actually be a contributing factor as to why potentially you're not losing weight. Hi everyone, it's Leslie from LM Fitness and today I want to talk to you about insulin. More specifically, insulin resistance. What it is, okay? What is insulin resistance? Um, now you may or may not have heard of insulin resistance if you are um, diabetic or you know someone who's diabetic, you may have heard of this. Um, and you may be thinking that insulin is only something you need to worry about if you're diabetic. But this is wrong. Insulin is actually something that's in all of us, all of the time. It's one of our um, systems that goes through the body that helps us with carrying things around and controlling blood sugars and things like that. It isn't just um, something that is in people who suffer with type 1 or type 2 diabetes. Um, but insulin resistance could actually be a contributing factor as to why potentially you're not losing weight. Okay, so I will run through and try and explain the scenario that I've got scribbled on my board. Um, and hopefully it will give you a slightly better understanding of what's going on inside your body and why you may not be losing weight as a result of this. So basically what happens when we eat food or drink drink, no matter what macronutrient is in it or, or can, it consists of, so whether it's fat, protein or carbohydrate, it goes through a process within the body where it is converted into basically into sugars, into um, glucose. And, and this is so the body can then effectively use it for, for energy. Now, um, the process is, I'm not going to go through the process because it is very sciencey, and, and I just want to try and cover this, which potentially is confusing enough. So, the, the process of conversion when your food comes through your body, it's going through your digestive system, is called gluconeogenesis. Um, and like I say, I'm not. Uh, maybe I'll do a video about that another day. But like I say, it is very sciencey. But it's what happens after this conversion that's important. So we're looking at um, when we eat, the food is converted into glucose, into sugars, effectively, and it needs to go into a cell in order for it to be converted uh, to, to be transported through the body. So whether it goes to the liver um, to be converted further into a triglyceride, or whether it then goes to a muscle cell to be used as energy, it all depends on how much of it is coming in. The problem is a lot of people are overeating and, and are certainly eating um, too many simple carbohydrates within their diet. So these are things like cakes, biscuits, chocolate bars, sweets, you know, the nibbly things, processed foods, things with uh, high content of hidden sugar or even obvious sugar. Um, and there's too many sugar cells with, you know, for the body to deal with. So, basically, what happens for the cell to transport um, the glucose around the body, it needs to come into a cell. And if, like, if we look at the, the drawings, I'm such a good artist, aren't I? So this is basically a a cell within the body. These are both cells, and you can see this one is is rather full. This one is sort of you know, nice and empty, there's lots of space in it. So what happens is as the body is converting all of this incoming food into glucose, it's coming down through the system, and we've got these little ones coming down, but they can't get into this cell because there's no space, there's no room available for them to come in there. So they're free floating at the moment in the body, and there's, there's nowhere for them, they're effectively homeless, there's nowhere for them to go. So what happens is this excess amount here that can't get into this cell, it comes around the body into the liver. So if your cells were like this and there was plenty of space, the cells could get in and they'd all come around and go off up to a muscle cell or around to your liver, but there wouldn't be loads of it to actually convert once it's here. But because we're looking at this scenario, these excess cell, uh, sugar, glucose cells, um, molecules are coming around to the liver um, where they're going to be converted into something called a triglyceride. Now triglycerides are the main, one of the main components of fat. So the more triglycerides we've got, the more fat we've got basically. So what's going to happen from here is these triglycerides that have been converted from the sugars by the liver are going to come around to a fat cell. Now if your fat cells are nice and healthy, 
that's no problem at all because you know you're looking pretty good you're not overweight there's plenty of room here for these triglycerides to sit and be stored for later now we need a little bit of body fat we, we do need a little bit of body fat so having this here is, is a good survival storage fat, so fat source okay for energy later or to keep us warm or to protect our organs so we need some of this but what happens when we eat too much, when we have too much of these sugars coming around, these fat cells, basically they start to expand. So they start to just grow outwards and push against each other. And the more fat that's coming around, the more they're going to grow, the more they're going to expand, the more they're going to um, swell. But what happens here is your immune system starts to kick in. Now everyone thinks that your immune system is there to fight off illnesses, colds, snotty noses, viruses, you know, those sorts of things, the obvious things, illness. But the immune system has, it responds to a lot of things within the body. It fights to a lot of things, it fights with a lot of things within the body. And this is one of them, okay? So as the fat cells start to expand, as they start to grow and they fill with fat, it triggers the immune system. Um, and it basically has a, a reaction to the growing fat cells and it has an inflammatory response. So basically, as these grow, your body starts to swell. It starts to inflame and that's what the weight gain is. That's what, you know, the fat is. It's, it's this, the body swelling up. And as this happens, you start to become insulin resistant. So you, your body isn't, your insulin isn't carrying the... the, the you know, carrying things around, it isn't controlling your blood sugar levels, it isn't, it isn't helping to maintain healthy balance in the body. And what this then does, is it comes straight back up to the system, you've eaten another chocolate bar, you've got too much sugar, you come back around, you go through the whole process again. And the insulin resistance basically facilitates a greater level of fat storage. Now, it's a vicious cycle, which is why I've drawn it like this, it's a vicious cycle. So sugars come in, glucose comes in, goes to the liver, converts to triglycerides, goes around to the fat cells which become fuller and bigger, they swell, they push against each other, your insulin then starts to become resistant or you become insulin resistant, so it doesn't control your blood sugars, so you spike and trough, you consume more sugar and you go around again, okay? So it's kind of like that up, down, up, down, up, down kind of peak and trough of energy. So this is, is primarily caused by too much um, carbohydrates in your diet, too much simple carbohydrates in your diet, too much sugar in your diet. Um, but the problem is, it's like here, the immune system kicks in. The immune system is very, very selfish and it loves sugar. It, it thrives on that sugar. So what it effectively does is it stops your body. It, it holds all of this sugar here. And it basically stops your body from taking that sugar and then using it for energy somewhere else. So you just keep hold of it. It stays there. It's a lump. It doesn't move. So this prevents you from achieving your weight loss goals. This is what's potentially slowing you down in achieving weight loss. So what we can do is we, we create like a calorie deficit. So we're not having as much sugar. We start to reduce... The sugar we start to have um, reduce the carbs reduce the calories that we're taking in and then these sugars there's less of them so they might have a greater chance of getting into a healthy cell and rather than going around to the liver to be converted to triglycerides and then back round they're going off up to a, a muscle cell up here and being used for energy and the more this happens the more energy you're likely to to experience this is when you're you know this is when you feel lethargic, this is when you start to feel more energy, you start to come off up here. Now, as you break out of this cycle, which will be gradual, but as you break out of this cycle and you start to push sugars up into your muscle cells for energy, you become more insulin sensitive. And this is a good thing. This is, this is good. This is where our body will start to um, break down these fat cells and the immune system will start to let go and come back down to normal but I'm not saying here that you should be low carb now don't get the wrong impression from this video I that is not the answer that is not what I am saying what I am saying is you need to be more aware of how much you're putting in and what you're putting in and make some 
amendments to what you're putting in to go for um, alternative healthier options of carbohydrates so you know something that's slower burning something that's you know it's got a longer chain to it so it's gonna it's gonna be a slower releasing so you always hear people saying about porridge it's a slow releasing carb things like that you want to swap the things like your pasta and your bread your white breads your, your rice and things like that um, and just go for healthier alternative options when it comes to your carbohydrates okay so I really hope that's made sense um, but obviously if you have got any questions or you want to talk about it a bit more drop comments down below like the video subscribe to the channel come and follow me on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or any of those lovely places um, and I'll hopefully speak to you all soon but take care consider your healthy alternatives and I will look forward to seeing you, seeing you in the next video very soon take care bye Thanks for watching the video, really really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to sit and listen to me blab on about stuff. Um, if you like the video, please make sure that you hit the like button. Also please subscribe to the channel and check out all of the other videos that I've done about weight loss, about mindset, exercise, fitness in general. And also check out some newer videos. So you've got a, an exercise and a recipe. So check them out. Whilst you're here as well, one more quick thing. Social media, come and follow me. You've got Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and the website. Make sure you come, make sure you interact and please leave a comment below if you've got any feedback. Take care and until the next video, see you soon.